Well, if you've just stumbled across the channel, I do a lot of chainsaw videos, tractor videos, tools, firewood, etc. And actually today I'm out here building a trail system. I'll try to remember to include a link in the description below of the videos that I'm doing. And uh, I just cut this tree down and noticed that my steel MS-170 chain is starting to get a little dull. I did another review on the steel 2-in-1 sharpener for my bigger saw. I'll include that as below as well. And I was pretty impressed. And I said in that video that uh, if that sharpener worked that well, and it did, that I'd buy a smaller one just for this size chain because I run this saw a lot. So today that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a few cuts on this green tree that I have propped up. And we're going to time it. Then I'm going to sharpen it with the uh, new steel one sharpener. Haven't even taken it out of the package. Just picked it up this morning. And we'll see if it makes as much of a difference on these small Pico chains as it did on my larger one. Let's check it out. All right, as far as that chain goes, I can definitely tell it's getting dull. And I have cut a lot of trees on this trail building system that I'm doing. And I've been flush cutting a lot of stumps too, so I know I've got it in the dirt a little. So it just goes without saying, you could tell that was cutting a bit dull. Also another way that I like to tell if my chain is dull, you can see I've got a lot of just fines and powder coming out. Not very many chips. Some chips, but not many. That's a way that definitely lets me know if my chain's dull. I had a viewer tell me that the way that he tests if his chains are sharp, he'll stick his fingernail on the teeth and kind of rake it across the teeth. And if it sticks, you know it's sharp. And I know some people do that with fishing hooks. And right now, it doesn't matter if I get on the point, on the front edge of that tooth, my fingernail's gliding right across it. It's not sticking at all. So I guess that means that tooth is rounded over. <clears throat> all right, here is the sharpener that I picked up. And if, uh, again, if you watch my other video, you know that this costs about what two chains do. So I consider this a really good value uh, as long as it works well. They're foolproof. They got arrows that tells you what direction to go. You only go forward. And it's got a double file system in it. Actually, it's got three files, so you can flip it over. But it's got a flat file, which takes your rakers down right here, because a lot of people forget to get those. And if you don't take those rakers down, it doesn't allow the tooth to get down in the log. This just runs across the wood. So that's pretty important. And then it's got the round file in it. And that's what actually goes underneath the tooth and sharpens up the edge. Now it's pretty important. Hopefully this little camera will focus. You can see that these teeth are at an angle like this. Then you have one that goes back this direction so you have to flip the ball around to get those but what whenever you set this up you want to set it up the same exact angle as those teeth are going and I found with the other one it works well it sharpens quickly so I hope that's the case with these smaller chains and saws because this is probably my most used saw I'm gonna go ahead and time myself since this is my second time sharpening now should be a little quicker it is 12.36, and I'm imagining I can probably get this chain sharpened in three to four minutes tops. And I'm going to do just like I did my other saw. I'm going to make five strokes per tooth and keep rotating this chain around. And these chains are marked. Hopefully you can see that's got a green paint mark on it right there. They have either green or yellow chains. So this is a semi-chisel or low kickback chain. The yellow is the more aggressive cut and full chisel chain. But I usually start sharpening right in front of that paint mark so I know when I get back around to it that uh, I need to quit sharpening on that side, flip the saw around, hit the teeth that are going the other direction.
All right, I made it back around to the green mark. So all I did was just flip my chainsaw completely around. I'm gonna go back to this green mark and I'm gonna start on the tooth right in front of it. I've got it down to three minutes. That's pretty hard to beat. I used to always carry my chains off to town to have them professionally sharpened, but uh, it's pretty hard to beat three minutes in the woods. And that's what me going go on five strokes because this chain's pretty dull. In the future, I may hit each tooth three strokes and uh, get that time down even more, but just throw this in the chainsaw box or bring it around with you. Hard to beat to keep your saw going. And I want to mention, if you go pick one of these up, I messed up. I picked two of them up because there's different size chains. But it's a bit confusing because there is two different 3 8 size sharpeners. There is a standard 3 8 which I accidentally grabbed to begin with. That's for much larger saws. Then there's a 3 8 P for Pico chain. These are the micro chains that you find on the steel MS 170s, 180s, and a few other uh, size saws. So I went back and got that one. It's got much smaller round files in it. And like I said, that was so easy. Now the proof's in the pudding, as they say. We're gonna go out there, fire this up, and see if the cuts are gonna be quicker. And I can already tell you, I do believe that it will. And as the one viewer suggested, you could tell if your chain's sharp, if it sticks. As soon as I put my fingernail on that point, it is sticking, and if I pull it, it's cutting into my fingernail. So that's one way to tell. He's got a good tip there. Because before it was round, it wasn't scratching my nail at all. Now my nail is actually sticking in that tooth and it's digging in. So definitely sharper. Let's go see how much quicker it cuts. Well, I don't even think I have to go back and put the times up, but I will do that. That was a night and day difference. That was amazing. And uh, as I say, the proof's in the pudding. You should see these chips. That tells the whole story. Look at that. No comparison. I actually have big chunks and chips now. Isn't that nice? No more of that powder. I'm surprised that little chain is pulling chunks this big. That's pretty awesome. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Uh, in my mind, these steel two-in-one sharpeners are a game changer. My last one I had great results with. This one blew me away. Like I said, this was even easier to sharpen with. Not that the last one was tough, and it's most likely because I'm using that small Pico chain. The results speak for themselves. I don't know how much quicker it was, but it wouldn't surprise me if that just cut quite twice as quick. So, uh... That lets me know I'll let my chain go a little too far to begin with. As quick and easy as that is, I'll keep it on the ranger every time I bring the saw out. And if I accidentally hit dirt or just cut a bunch of wood, I'll touch the chain up real quick. It's so simple and easy to do. Why not? So hopefully y'all enjoy these type of videos. If you want to see me with this trail build that I'm doing right here, I still have a lot of videos to make. I'm cutting a trail all the way through the woods for our enjoyment. Like I said, I'll have a link down below. But uh, look across our channel. There's going to be a lot of different videos for this. We do a lot of firewood chainsaw type videos, so uh, appreciate it if you'd click subscribe. Thanks for watching.